Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cooking with Mr. Cookie. Today we have an awesome recipe. We are making a biscuit, which is one of my favorite biscuits as a child. We are making iced Vovos. Now, today we're gonna to be using an oven and an electric mixer and a stove top to make sure you have adult supervision when doing so. Then, speaking of the oven, it's time to preheat the oven at 180 degrees for conventional ovens and 160 for fan-forced ovens. All right, let's go through our ingredients. We have two thirds of a cup of plain flour, two thirds of a cup of self-raising flour, half a cup of sugar, one egg, 60 grams of softened butter. And for our topping, we have 30 grams of softened butter, one quarter cup of icing sugar, one third cup of raspberry jam, half a cup of desiccated coconut, and 100 grams of pink marshmallows. All right, let's get to it. Well, if you didn't know, that's Woogie for it's time to wash our hands. First things first, we've got to cream our sugar and 60 grams of butter together. All right, you know you're done when your sugar and butter are combined together nicely and the butter is looking a little paler in color. All right, next thing to do is beat in our egg. You know you're done when it's creamed up nicely and it's looking fluffy. Now it's time to sift in our flowers. All right, now that we've sifted our flowers, we're gonna fold it in with our spatula. All right, once your flour has combined, what you're gonna do is put it out onto a floured surface so you can knead it. All right, once your dough is looking nice and together, what we're gonna do is wrap it in cling wrap and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes to chill. It's been 15 minutes. What we're gonna do is roll this out to the about four millimeters thick. All right, it's time to cut these cookies up. Now, traditionally, ice vovos are done with a fluted pastry wheel. I don't have one of them, and I'm sure you may not have one either. So, I'm just gonna cut mine into straight rectangles, about four centimeters by five centimeters. All right, we're just gonna put this on our baking tray, about three centimeters apart. All right, we're gonna let these bake in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, our biscuit base is all cooked and on our cooling racks, what we're gonna do is make our toppings. So what you need is a small saucepan and the rest of your ingredients. 
What we're going to do first is melt and mix together our marshmallows and butter. Alright, once it's nice and smooth and melted, what we're going to do is sift in our icing sugar. Alright, so with our icing all good to go, what we're going to do is put it into a piping bag with a wide nozzle, then we're going to spread it down each side of our cookie to leave a nice part in the middle for the jam. Then, before the icing sets, we're going to put our coconut over the top and shake it off. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just as easily do this with a spoon or a knife. You just might need to be a bit more precise. Now, when playing with the icing, make sure you are careful because that icing is hot. So if you have some insulated gloves, some cotton gloves or some confectionery gloves, make sure you wear them so you don't burn your hands. Alright, once you've got your icing on, what you're going to do is dip it into your coconut. Alright, our iced vovos are looking very good. What we're going to do is warm up our jam and get it on there. For our raspberry jam, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our microwave for 10 second intervals on high so it's nice and easy to spread onto our cookies. Alright, with the jam nice and runny, what we're going to do is spoon some of it into the middle, doing it nice and easy so we get a nice even spread. have it. Our iced Vovos all good to go. Oh man, I cannot wait to eat one of these. Yeah. Better than Arnott's. Oh, that's a bit cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you share this recipe with your friends and as always, the recipe is in the description below.